Suckers, and I am going to be talking about for this third video the. Uh, Digimon or Corrupted Pokemon Theory. So, this is something that has been talked about since the beginning of both Pokemon and Digimon. Now, yes, Digimon came after Pokemon even in uh, the original Japanese dubbing. Digimon was after Pokemon. But the thing is, there was never really much tying Digimon to Pokemon. Other than them having partners. And if you want to go by that, I guess, yeah, you could say that Digimon or Pokemon, and you could also say every other Monster Tainment series is a Pokemon clone, if you want to go by that. Now, before the paint sound on, it, yes, I have said this, and I have even said it in shorts, I am a Pokemon enjoyer, not a fan, because Pokemon fans can be toxic, but I am a Pokemon enjoyer, I love, enjoy both. Pokemon and Digimon. I'm more of a Digimon fan than a Pokemon fan, but I like both. And the issue I have with this theory is it doesn't work. Now, let me explain. The humans in the Pokemon world do not go to another world. They stay in their human world. Now, does that necessarily mean that the Tamers and Digidesson and all that stay in the Digimon world all the time? No, of course not. There has been movies that have proven that they don't. And hell, even Zero Two and Tamers are solely focused on being more real world based. Well, no, that's not true. Zero Two wasn't really human world based but they switch back and forth between the digital world and human world while tamers it was mostly human world until the late game where they do go to the digital world and <laughs> damn, I never cut that off hold on let me fix this real quick I apologize I always forget to cut off the Cut on the do not disturb. But anyways, uh, what I was getting at is Pokemon, unless you count Sun and Moon, do not go to another world. They go back in time, sure. And I guess you could count that too. But uh. Let's see, one of the other reasons why I say Digimon are not Pokemon is because Pokemon do not have digital codes. Yes, Pokemon may be able to be put into a PC or whatever and transfer through a PC, but that's not through their code. That's through the Pokeball codes. Because it's the, actually the Pokeball that's transferring them and doing all that. And it's even called a Pokeball Transfer. While Digimon, you can literally just teleport from your computer to the real world to the digital world. And another thing is... There have been crossovers. There have been... Instances where Digimon that are in considered Digimon in the digital world aren't necessarily considered Digimon in their own world. But here's the catch. All those worlds are digital worlds. Now, when you mean by when you ask, sorry I'm getting so tired, you ask what do I mean by that? 
What I mean is, let's take Nannymon, for example. Nannymon came over from Tomogachi, another Bandai uh, creation. But Tomogachi itself, Nannymon is not considered in a uh, Digimon. He's considered a Tomogachi. So when they brought him over to the digital world, he becomes a Digimon. Same can be said for Wizardmon and Medieval Dukemon. Both from which ah sorry, get in time tied. Witchery. A digital world in another dimension. And you can also say that Digimon aren't necessarily solely based on animals, which they're not. And for example for that, just off the top of my head, Tinkermon, who is based off of Tinkerbell, and she even has a counterpart called Petermon, based off Peter Pan, and they create a little area slash world called Never Ending it's never ending sign. Well, I'll put I'll have the uh, description up. I forgot what it's called. I think it's never ending world, which is ne or uh, supposed to be based off of Neverland. Now you can say, oh, but see, Tinkermon is still in the considered a full fledged Digimon because it's not a different dimension. Yes. And I didn't say that. I said that she's based off of something that isn't animal based. Well, it, it it's animal based, but not animal based because she's a mystical animal based. Anyways, I'm getting off point. All of Pokemon's mons are generally animal based. Even and there are some humanoids, I'll give you that, but generally they are animal based, while Digimon is a variety of species and animals and even mystical beings, fairy tales, all that. It's not just one thing. And, and this has been proven by the Digimon reference book, Zero Two. And even Tamers, actually even Zero One, because Zero One and Zero Two reference that the digital world is actually part of the human world. And yes, you could argue because Pokemon is technically their human world, but again, Pokemon are not digital, Digimon are. Digimon are made from digital code that they got from our internet. This has been mentioned in Adventure and Zero Two and made practically come true through Tamers when they rebooted it because Tamers is the original reboot. So, no. Digimon are not Pokemon. The reference books prove this. Digimon from other digital worlds prove this. Stop saying it. Stop saying Pokemon are... Uh... I'm sorry, Digimon are Pokemon. Because they're not. It doesn't work. Just stop. I gave you the receipts. Pokemon fans, please stop. Anyways, I love you all. Hope you have a wonderful day or night, depending on when you're watching this. Mwah.